Good morning. We're on our third hike uh, through uh, different parts of the area, and this morning we're down in Pembroke at the Lincoln Cemetery, a very historic cemetery in Pembroke, and we're speaking with Caleb Jackson. He's a local historian, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about uh, Lincoln Cemetery and the folks that are buried here. Correct. Lincoln Cemetery is very historic. Uh, there are 63 Civil War veterans, uh, uh, union, uh, 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 soldiers, and one uh, sailor buried here, plus William Howard Day and uh, Thomas Morris Chester, who was the only Civil War uh, car black correspondent. So it's a very historic space. Great, great. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, Thomas Morris Chester, he's I would say he's one of the most famous from this area. From this area, very yes, well he was. Known. Very well known. Now, was he a slave before? No, no, he was born free in, in 1834 uh -huh. in Harrisburg. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was born free and he was raised here. And actually, he went to Liberia oh, several Liberia. times under the, the American Colonization Society. Oh, so he Same to, to Liberia. <clears throat> to really, to go to school, mm -hmm. he finished the high school in Liberia and then he came back to the United States. Wow. And he went to Thetford Academy. Oh, that's up in Vermont. In Vermont, it? right. Wow. wow. And then he became a reporter for the Philadelphia Press. Oh yeah. Wow, that's really during the Civil War, and he was at the at the at the uh, battle, at the uh, Army of the James, I think. Uh huh. So he right. was originally uh, pro colonization, or or was he? Yes, was he, he re at the time. Yes, mm -hmm. it was unusual, but he uh -huh. was pro colonization because uh -huh. he uh -huh. he accepted the opportunity to go to library. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. And, and did he change his mind on that later on in life? No, I don't think he really did because uh, he, he went over several times mm -hmm. and uh, it, I don't think he changed his mind on that. He did go to, to uh, Louisiana uh -huh. uh, and he became a lawyer mm -hmm. in Louisiana and then later in uh, Dauphin County. Oh, really? So he practiced law. And one of the things he did, he was a stenographer. Oh, so he really? always could make a living uh, transcribing uh, uh, ceremonies, uh, Conventions and things like that. Oh yeah. So he was wow. a very able person. Wow. And so he's buried here in Lincoln Cemetery. He's buried here. His whole family. His whole family. Right. Is here. right. I hear that he had a sister who was quite an educator herself. Yes, his, his sister was uh, was a teacher in the Harrisburg school system. Uh -huh. And his parents had a uh, an oyster house, a restaurant at the corner of Third and uh, Market, mm -hmm. where the Whitaker Center oh, is yeah. now located. Oh yeah. So his I've father and mother and the whole family's buried here. Right. Oh wow, that's yes. really something. Now, uh, William Howard Day, he's also buried here. What? I, tell me a little bit about him, if you can. Right. William Howard Day. Now he was an abolitionist, mm -hmm. and he came. He was born in in uh, Ohio. He came to uh, Harrisburg after the Civil War, mm -hmm. and he was involved. He was one of the speakers when they had the Grand Review. Mm -hmm. In November of 1865, yep. when the uh, uh, colored soldiers were coming back from the Civil War, see that they, they were not allowed to march in the Grand Review in Washington. Right, right. So the people in Harrisburg decided they would honor the ones from Pennsylvania, oh. or the ones from the Massachusetts coming back by having a Grand Review. Oh, yeah. and, was, uh, and William Howard Day was the featured speaker oh, right. at that point. And then he settled here mm -hmm. and uh, worked at the Capitol and became the president of the Harrisburg School Board. Really? Yes. Wow, very accomplished. That's, yes. that's outstanding. Um, now, uh, there's a few members of the, the famous 54th Massachusetts buried here, is that correct? Yes, uh, Sergeant Horace Bennett uh -huh. is one, uh -huh. probably the most famous. And uh, he's, like I said, he was from the 54th, and he was at the battle at, at Fort Wagner. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. He was originally from Middletown. Oh. But after the war, he settled in Harrisburg, and he's, of course, buried here. Wow, that's... Uh, Quite, uh, quite, uh, must be uh, a mark of pride for the community to have one of those veterans buried here. Uh, right. Who was actually at the, the Battle of Fort Wagner, Fort which Wagner. is a, a very famous battle for the 54th. And actually, there's one soldier from one of the uh, Connecticut, because I understand Massachusetts and the Connecticut were the only USCT troops to keep their state designation. Really? Oh, because the rest of them went over to the USCT. USCT. Oh, yeah. Right. They were more or less a national designation. Yep. But those two kept their state designation. Uh, mm -hmm. a designation. Oh, wow. That's very good. That's great. Now, earlier you were pointing out a, a monument to all the soldiers and sailors uh, yes, who served the, from Yes, the County. huge uh, obelisk. Uh -huh. It's standing over here. And on that it says that that's dedicated to the colored soldiers and sailors of Dalton County who gave their life in the War of the Rebellion. Oh, 
Okay, do you know when approximately that was dedicated? I think approximately 1877. 1877. Now, is this uh, is this cemetery full now? Is it or is it still an active cemetery? Yes, I think there was a burial out here. Uh, Phyllis and Hooper that died about two years ago mm -hmm. is buried here. Wow, it must be quite an honor for anybody uh, to be interned here. Right. See, some of the families have owned lots here for years and years, so oh, yeah. that's why. It, in fact, her father was an undertaker, and she was also an undertaker, uh -huh. and she was buried here. Oh, wow. Right. Uh, Wesley AME uh, Zion Church mm -hmm. uh, actually keeps the cemetery up. It's really their cemetery, uh -huh. and uh, they're the caretakers. Now, are they, is that the church that originally opened the cemetery? Yes. So they've been around for quite some time. Right. Uh, and quite a few of the Civil War veterans belong. See, that's the oldest uh, uh, Negro church in, in Harrisburg, uh -huh. 1816. Oh, yeah. So quite a few of these Civil War veterans belong to that church. Oh, I see. Right. Wow. That's really something. Well, this is quite a uh, quite a, a historic spot, really. And in in it's uh, just wonderful that uh, it's, it's here in, in Pembroke. Um, the people of, of Pembroke must be really proud of, of its veterans. They are. <laughs> and also mention Ephraim Slaughter. Uh -huh. See, I'm a member of the Ephraim Slaughter American Legion Post, oh. located in Harrisburg. Uh -huh. And Ephraim Slaughter uh, was the last uh, USCT veteran in Dauphin County, and, and possibly in the state of Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. He lived until 1943. 1943? Yes. Wow. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, and our post was formed that year, and they named the post, because most posts are named for uh, World War I veterans, mm -hmm. but we probably have the only uh, uh, American Legion post in the United States named for a Civil War veteran. Oh, really? Wow. And, and every year, the the Saturday after Memorial Day, we have a big parade for him called the Ephraim Slaughter Day Parade. Really? And we still have it in the city of Harrisburg. Oh, very nice. So it's nice. one of the few Civil War parades that, that, that are still, uh, still commencing. Very nice. Another mark of distinction for the area. Yes. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate you taking the time oh, to come yes, out here and speak and I, to us. Yes, I appreciate seeing you. Absolutely. Yes. And I know you're enjoying your march and your uh, your bivouac. Oh, I, I definitely <laughs> am. I definitely am. And I'll continue on marching. Hey, how, how's the weather been? Hopefully, been, uh, it's been cold. It's, it's been, been cold. It's been cold, but not unexpected for February. Um, oh yes. But yes. Uh, I got a, a pretty good uh, set of quarters up there in the park, and uh, and I uh, managed to keep pretty warm. Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And we'll uh, we'll keep on marching. Okay.